Welcome back to the Mixed World Championships from Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Mass. Paul Grant, Bob Lee, Dan Esdale with you. A thrilling match, an instant classic as Penny Lane, undefeated, lost by nine points to Coca-Cola. Now one point behind for first place. Right now, top bowlers here, lead up bowlers. Mercy Bonnie. Mary Bonsi, a spare, now a strike to start. 20 through one, 30 plus two through two. Sonia Rossi, eight to start. Ten for Sonia, eighteen through two. Just underway here now. As we go remote, two two broadcasts right now at once, covering uh, the top teams right now. The rest of the way, Mario Johnson on the right for Penny Lane, seventeen and one, fifteen and three for Price's Wood Flooring on the left. Kim Pelletier for, on lane twenty-one. Mario goes left, or right rather, gets three. Kim Pelletier, four horsemen plus the nine and the ten. Kim from Haverhill, Mass here, average of 98, high single 181, high triple 423. Mario, 3 1 split. Kim has the nine to the ten. Mario, good try. It's a nine to start. Pelletier, a nine. One string match, two points for a win, one for tie. Twenty-two teams, twenty-one matches, three days. Five on Friday, ten yesterday, six today. This is match four of six. Match number nineteen. Price is what needs a win, two wins to win. To tie first, and Penny Lane needs to lose two more. Coca Cola just one win behind Penny Lane after beating them last match. A thrilling match. On, watch later on in Spread Eagle Productions. Mario half was to right. Kim Pelletier gets four. Mario, good try, at least at the seventh pin. Kim Pelletier, good try, five pin left up. Mario, 10, 19 through two. Pelletier, the kingpin, the five pin left up. Kim's home lanes, extra lanes, extra New Hampshire. Nine, 18 through two. Evan River for Penny Lane. Aaron St. Cyr, Priceless Wood. Kevin from Stoner, Mass, originally from Maine. 117 average, high single 193. Has the 136 and the 9 behind the 3 pin. Aaron St. Sarah, young 24 year old for Haverhill. Another young up and coming bowler. Has the half was to left the 3 and the 9. Bunch of wood. For a spare, yes. Ten the ball to start. Thank you. This is the last one. Last one. Welcome, Dan Asdale, back. Another great match 
Another tough test here for Penny Lane. High seven leave from Evan Riva. Aaron, eight on the fill. Wood coming out of play. By rule, if it's past that 10 foot line, it must be clear. But sometimes, especially I go to get it, I scare the pin and it rolls back. 18 after one. It's pretty well lit. I call it the Susi Special, the Matt Susi Special. He made that in the Sunday Pro League. It's on that Ken oh, yes, Chat thing. Yes. With, without Wood in the Sunday Monthly Pro League in Extra Lanes, the Draft League, he, 5 7 10 without Wood for a spare. Amazing shot. You don't see that too often, do you? That was an incredible shot. Aaron Saints here, 116 league goal, a high single of 160, high triple of 420, high 5, 686. Throw in a high 10 of 1241, high 20 of 2401. Miss Hale, New Hampshire, originally. Oh, what a trial! A go! Yes! What a shot for his fair! Wow! St. Sarah, two in a row, 28 the ball through two. My wild voice isn't the same today. Oh, no, no. Get your wild t-shirts. See Frank DeLuca for your wild t-shirts. Help support Al Johnson's Candle Prince for Cancer. Get your wow. Tim Matera on the right. Penny Lane, the defending champions. Just lost their first match in a thrilling one against Coca-Cola by nine pins. An instant classic for sure. And another really tough test for them. Price of wood flooring doesn't matter if it's men's world, the invitational mix, they're in it every time. And Nate Lees who running this tournament. Also the semi conference semifinals for the Atlantic Kennepin Singles Tour against Keith Bopre this week. Matero drops nine. Eight pin left up, two pieces of wood. Leads a 4-2 split. Nate from Revere, Mass. Now lives in Kingston, New Hampshire. Kingston, New Hampshire, 117 league average. High single, 189. High triple, 464. Material for spare. Got robbed. Sometimes too much wood. Oh, that, the way the wood was out front, that was really tough. Lease is open. I always say the wood is your best friend sometimes, your worst nightmare other times. Absolutely, absolutely, without question. Tim Matero with a 10 to start. Nate Lee's seven to start. Right now it's 83 to 67, a 16 pin lead for Prices with Flooring. They won the 2021 US Invitational, all of the world's finest Canada last year. Between Tim Matero, who's now on Penny Lane. Penny Lane. The Calvin Locks Canadian team won in the 2019. This is the first time back since then. Matero head pin, but as a 2 1 split, the 4 7 that's why if the ask, 10. That's why if you ask Calvin, they're the actual defending champs. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for the Ripper the Back podcast. I'm going to do it, usually do it Sunday nights every two weeks. I'm going to do it tomorrow night. It'll be on Tuesday or Wednesday. Oh, Tim's going to rip him apart. <laughs> I wish that was live. <laughs> Good try by Matero. It's funny how the one on the left doesn't go, the one on the right does. Yep. That's going to be a good one. Check out the Rip in the Rack podcast with Brian Athern, Tim Matero, and Calvin Locke. Also, Can Up in Corner tonight live with Corey Lisi and Jordan Britton. Live chats. Oh, what a shot for Nate Lees for a spare. 17 the ball through two. Matero, two tens, 20 also, through two. And also, uh, whenever Jeremy and Danny Finn feel like doing it again, the Approach podcast, which you can find on all your platforms iTunes, Spotify, everywhere. They didn't get the quarter and they asked me to do their first live podcast. They had to get, they had to get the, the quarter in, so they had me on it. That was great. I thought it went well. I love this state candy bar commercial. My teacher told me I should make that, submit that to a candy company. And my Candlepin Bowling song, if you know the Beatles songs, Octopus's yep. Garden, yep. a little parody song about Candlepin Bowling. That was good. I liked it. I thought it was pretty much on cute, on key. I do better with music. All right. Anchor ball is Jimbo Ayotte, one, two, four. Here's Chris Bovea, ball and anchor. Has the five and the nine, good piece of wood in front. Chris Bovea from Merrimack, New Hampshire, average of 123.
Jimbo Aon from Lemston, New Hampshire. Average of 119, missed the head pin. Career best 128. High single of 205, high triple 473. Over for a spare, missed it. He's the ones that kill you. Yes, they are. And so many misses by Penny Lane that they don't usually miss in the last thing. You're not going to make them all, obviously, but they missed three, three easy shots. You know, and those ones hurt you, you know? There were, there were some misses on both sides in that last match between Coca-Cola and Penny Lane. But you got to make what you can. you got to pin well and just keep at it, keep plugging away and doing what, what you can. What irked me as a ball, not so much the single pin without wood, which, you know, you got to hit those, but if you have a piece of wood and you, you know, just miss your object pin, you miss everything, and you miss wide right, miss everything, you know, that's more more demoralizing to me. Ayotte has the 4-7 to 5 to the right, two pieces of wood. Bovair delivers off to the right, gets five, one, two, eight behind the two pin, four, uh, the six, ten on the right, one, two, eight, six, ten to the right. Jimbo, open. Chris Bovair, oh, what a shot, almost. Eight pin went, got hit but wouldn't go. What's well, the Havel train when you need it? Yeah. They're usually late, like <laughs> that's why the, that's why it didn't go. They're never on time. Never on time. <laughs> that's a really good name for a, t uh, uh, a team. No, never on time. Nine, uh, ten for Bovair, twenty through two. So right now, through two boxes in this one string match, match nineteen to twenty one, one thirteen to ninety five, eighteen pin lead for Pricewood Flooring. And let's check out the mark situation with Dan Esdale. Gary's working on a strike right now. Prices is going to have three fill balls, four fill balls, excuse me, to one for Penny Lane. Three to one, right? Three to one, four to one. Four to one. Mary Bonsi having a good string. Five net fill, 35. Which out of strike, another ball to go, actually. Out of spare, then a strike. Poked it right. He's up the two and the seven. Now eight fill. 38 through two. Solid start. Sandy Rossi, 18 at first two, has the four. The uh, seven pins left, six ten to the right, two pieces of wood. I'm going with the left pin by the seven, red line. Yeah, that's where I would go. She's going right instead, punched out one. That does not count as a lemon drop shot, by the way. It's the four pin of the six for your first shot, one dollar for Kelvin for cancer. All you bowlers out there, is you can go past due to last September if you want. Have a great cause. Have some fun with it too. Absolutely. Help support the Canada Bowling community lemon drop pool, one dollar at least. Not a mandate. Sonia nine twenty uh Sonia nine twenty seven through three. Mary a nine forty seven through three. What a start. Sonia Rossi from Rutland, Mass, average of one oh seven, high single one seventy five, high triple four thirty five. Home lanes, Bayberry Bowling. Spent some ass. Have you bowled there before? I have not been out there yet. Mary, one, two, and the eight. One piece of wood. Sonia, nice ball, nine. Eight pin left up. Sonia, part of the 2020-21 season in Exeter, New Hampshire, the mixed doubles event. Open box. Mary open for Sonia. Good try. Wood robbed her. And Mary Bonsi with a nine. 56 to four. What a start. Nine for Sonia Rossi. 36 to four. When you win 17 in a row and you lose a tough match by nine in an instant classic, in your mind, does that demoralize you sometimes going like mentally and it sometimes not literally, but you think can it sometimes in the back of your mind affect your next match? It, 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 it shouldn't, but it, it, it can, right? But it can. Um, Mario. I mean, we can see from Penny Lane, they changed the lineup a little bit. Evan came in, Sonia Rossi came in. Um, the balls Matt, are tired, too. They've blown a lot of strings. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's so many strings. 
most bowlers have seven or eight te- uh, te- seem to have seven or eight bowlers to rotate. Yep. You have to have at least two women two women bowl two right. women bowl at all times too. Right. Kim Pelletier for a spare looks good but won't go. Missed the object pin. Triangle for Mario Johnson the four the seven and the eight. Forty five percent chance to convert. All stats by Spread Eagle Productions. Open box for her also. Chrysler flooring, 15 and 3, 17 and 1 for Penny Lanes. Penny Lane. That's another Beatles song too. Which one? Penny Lane. Yes, it is. Mario Johnson, 9, 27 through 3. Tim Pelletier, 10, 28 through 3. 149 to 121. Early 28 pin lead, but that is nothing in these matches. Nothing, nothing at all. Somebody gets hot real quick. You know, Evan, Evan's been taking himself to three to Evan. Tim, Jimbo, any one of these bowls can kick off real quick, real easy. Top prize of ten thousand dollars to the winning team. Pellet in the pocket. Five pin slide, says the eight and the ten to the right, three pieces of wood. Mario goes right. It's a break, has the one, the two, and the eight behind the two pin. Some wood to help. Mario's high single 192. Goes next to New Hampshire. High triple 439, high 5701, high 10 1301. For a spare, looks good. Oh, couldn't get the eight to go. Kim Pelletier, Kim Pelletier pinning well. Two nines, now two tens, 38 through four. Jan Esdale, your thoughts so far on the match here? Mary started out world of fire with that spare strike to start in the first and second. A little slow to start here for, for Penny Lane, but I really have a big feeling, especially with the lineup, including Evan, Tim, and Jimbo. They're going to kick off. They're going to find their line. They're going to find their spot. All right. You had to clear the wood from the lane there. Get back in the way here in just a moment. Kim Pelletier. Now, listen, I got a bone to pick. You, you, you just have to go on a cruise during the day of the women's doubles event. So tell the bowl what you're going to do to raise money for that. Um, nothing, because I spent a lot on the cruise. But I'm going for two weeks. But what are you going to do to help people? Who, I'm going to Ireland. No, but what about the doubles event? What are you going to do to help the women's doubles event? I'm going to try to recruit for you. What are you going to do that to raise money? I told you to bring to get some flyers, get some word out there. You're going to do a raffle too, aren't you? Sure. How much are you going to raise? $200. I thought it was 1000 No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> All right. Kim Pelletier, always teasing her. Thanks, All right. All right, back to action here. Aaron St. Cyr on a spare. A spare eight in the first. Five that time, 33 through two. Mario Johnson, 36 through her first four. Evan River working on a spare, 20 in a ball. It's seven, has the one. I can't see it from here, sorry. Five, eight, and 10, one piece of wood. 27 through two. St. Cyr, he's up the head pin. I'm telling you, sometimes you've ever missed the head pin in that situation. Yeah, oh, what a try by Evan, right behind the seven pin. Good try. We're not at a very high point here. We're very even with the bowlers. They're all standing up, blocking our view. Aaron at ten, uh, nine. Aaron St. Cyr, 42 through three. Evan River, a nine. 36 through three. 173 to 146. It is a 27 pin lead for Price's Wood Flooring over the number one seed right now, Penny Lane, who just lost their first match after two and a half days, 17 and one. Two matches to go after this. Aaron Forsman left the one, two, four, and seven. And with that slow, deliberate approach, gets a break with the one, two, and the 10, three pieces of wood. St. Cyr for spare, yes! Third spare of the string, 40, 
52, 52 through four plus one. Driver for a spare, right over the 10. Two good tries in a row, won't go. On the object pin. We have another fantastic ball, a 117 average. You see the best balls in the world hits this weekend. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Some couldn't make it, obviously, but most of them are here. Yeah, a lot of them are here. Yeah. Hopefully see more Canada teams. We will, we will obviously, in the uh, world the tournament this November. Sure. Haverhill Mass here, Academy Lanes. Evan gets a 10, 46 to 4. Check out the new restaurant and bar. You open up here Friday, Academy Lanes, Route 125, Haverhill Mass on Main Street. Beautiful nice looking. Spot. Rar, plenty of room to sit, sit. Pizza, pretzels, chicken fingers, chicken tenders, really good. High quality chicken tenders, delicious. Check it out here. Not to try to make you hungry at home, <laughs> but Ronda Havel, check out the World Mixed World Tournament. It's packed here. Come up for the Men's World Tournament. Mixed World Tournament's going on here now. Tim Material, goal pole, 710, shaking his head. Nate Lees. Trying to kick it over. He's up to 6 and 10. 2 in that spare fill, 19 through 2. Tip drive, kick it over. Good try. The defending champion from last year, Penny Lane. Nate leaves an 8. When I get a spare 2, like a half Western 8 box, I feel like erasing it. And take, just make it two tens. Can we just do that? Can we make that a rule? It just looks much better, doesn't it? It, it looks better, but... <laughs> I joke about it. Obviously, you can't do that. Matero, that time, at a nine, 29 through three. Highlight of your career, Dan Esdale, high single. In Candleton, high singles, 141, high triple, 389. High five, 580, which I threw a couple of weeks ago in Millis. Um... 10 pin highlights high. Three. No, no, we don't talk about 10 no, pin. That's, we're not doing that. that. That's not real bowling. Candle pin's real bowling. Candle pin is real bowling. No 10 pin. 10 pin's a. 10 pin's that's a swear word. That's a swear game. word. It's turned into a physics game. That's why I quit. Nate leaves the 1 2 4. Missed it to the right. <laughs> As a bowl up there, you're like, you're like, oh, I can't believe I missed that. I, it happens. I made a living off that. <laughs> if I got paid for those shots, I'd be a millionaire. I, I think a lot of us wouldn't have to work anymore. We could just bowl. Both balls open here. Nate Lees, 9. 36 to 4. Tim Matero going for the short 2 and does. 38 through 4. Thrilling last match. Instant classic. Catch you at Spread Eagle Productions later today. Penny Lane losing their first match. Couldn't go Patriots go 2007. Couldn't go 18 0. Go 17 and 1. I got a bone to pick about that. Miami Dolphins were 14-0 when they won that perfect season. They played three playoffs. Yep. But they only beat one, one team 500 or better the whole year. So they had a lame schedule. So that should be an asterisk next to this. Was, and we won more games than they did. Yep. We won 18. They won 17. Not fair. We won 14. We won 17. They, they were 17 0 at the playoffs. We were 18-0 without that last one. So we had a better record than they did. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> Back to live action. Chris Bovair. 20 through 2 on lane 22 in the Bryson Wood flooring. Jimbo Ayot 18 through 2 on Penny Lane on lane 21. A lemon drop, $1 for Al Johnson's kill offense for cancer. It was funny, I just mentioned the approach podcast of Danny Finn and Jeremy Seaholm. That's another great podcast, by the way. Uh, <laughs> Nick Dill across pulled his wall out right away after the first yeah, ball and paid yeah. it. That was funny. <laughs> But it's kind of a funny thing. It's it's a it's for a good cause though. It's for a great cause. If so, you can make some fun with it, then why not do it? Right. You're gonna help a great cause and have a little bit of fun and joke with yourself at the same time. It's the best way to do it. Chris Bovin, no marks, but three tens, thirty through three. Jimbo, a nine, twenty seven through three. Bob Lee here with the live update. Well, uh, we got a barn burner over there. It's a, a two-pin lead for High Low Dispensary on our uh, on our television lanes at the, at the other end over Academy. Over Academy, right next door, Harry's All Stars are in a tight one um, with D Generation X. It's uh, it's two oh eight to one ninety six. Tina Ward is starting off uh, on the on the fifth box. Chris Moore drops down nine. It's a two-pin left up. 
Lanes too, Paul. Penny Lane trails. Critically though, Penny, Penny Lane, we have we've looked at the total pins calculation. Penny Lane does lead Coca-Cola in the event that they were to lose. Well, they are the spare. Penny Lane has a 95 pin advantage over the course of the entire tournament. So that's, you know, in case they do tie, they still have three more, three more matches. Uh, three more There's a one string roll off. We found out one string roll off. There's a tie at the end. If, if they do that, okay. Yeah. So they won't go to total pins. Right. On, on That's what we thought yesterday. Date leads for clarified that last night. So the top two teams will have a one string roll off. We'll try to get the TV lanes. 33 and 34. Jim Boyer 10, 37 through four. Chris Bovier 40 in the ball through four. And we go back to the top of the order. Sorry, Dan. Hit, come, hit the cord there. I'm going to give Dan Hinsdale the call here for a couple of minutes. Sonia Rossi gets three. Picks up the left side there. Every with the two and one. Here's the four, five, and seven. Sonia with a great bid back in the pocket here. Doesn't quite carry. Leaves herself the four and the five. Sorry, the two and the five. Never real close with that shot. Leaves herself just a five pin. Sonia's gonna go buy it. Gets herself an eight box. 44 half for Sonia Rossi. Never just goes by the five pin. Gets herself a nine. She's got 65 half. After a terrific stout with a, a spare and a strike in the first and second. It's gone nine, nine, nine. Here in the six box now. Penny Lane down by a 30 pins even. Tough break for Sonia Rossi on the head pin. He's a spread eagle with a nine pin talon. Mary with a great shot. Leaves herself just the eight pin. Some wood out front. Right up near the ledge, which can make it a little difficult. Close on the left, it takes it. Sonia Rossi almost took out the eagle with the talon, leaves herself the 3, 9, and 10 pin. Piece of wood between the 3 and 9. She'll have herself a 9 box. Penny Lane at 210. No marks to fill. Price's Wood Flooring is going to have a spare fill for Aaron and a spare fill for Chris. 241 to 210. Mario Johnson up on lane 22. Just off to the right. Leaves the 1, 2, 4, and 8. Kim Pelletier on the headpin leaves a 2 and 2 split. Made up of the 2, 4, 6, and 10. Mario just slides by off to the right. Kim catches the outside of the two pin. No luck catching the four as it went by. Mario back on the head pin, a little full. Gets herself an eight box out of that. Kim with a good out. Gets herself a nine. Hey, baby, leave when everybody leaves one. We've got a substitution here for uh, Penny Lane. Mario sitting down now. Maddie Kelly in. Maddie Kelly sat off in the six. Goes half Worcester. Right. Kim with that ball that breaks in. Nice little hook at the end. Gets us off the hay bale left. And the 10 pin on the right. Maddie Kelly just off to the left. Gives a shot of the 1, 6, and 10. Kim in that pocket. 
No luck. Nice try, baby. Use nice yourself try. Four and ten. Maddie leaps a head pin, gets herself a nine box. So Mario slash Maddie, 53 after six. Kim with a 56 after six. No marks yet, but she's pinning very well. Four nines and two tens for Kim. Twenty-two pin lead right now for Prices Wood Flooring. Update down the lane. Coca-Cola is tied with bottom shelf. Through at the midpoint. At the midpoint, Coca-Cola and bottom shelf are tied. So that, what's he talking about? Yep. Is this? Uh, lane with a, a two-point lead. Yep. But uh, Penny Lane two-point lead. It could be. There's a spare for Evan Rival. Elsewhere, and right next to them, Stars and Stripes and Huff Power Sports were also tied as I was walking back. Everything coming down to the Y, and now Aaron sits here, another great staff. So Aaron filled a seven on his spare previously. Now has another spare. 276 to 237. Aaron and Evan both have spares to fill. Chris Bovey is going to have a spare to fill himself when he comes up in this fifth. Have him with the sixth fill. And have himself a 62 half. Aaron St. Cyr with an eighth fill. Evan with another great spare. That is not an easy shot, especially with that eight pin in the back there. Aaron with another spare as well. Nice falling, guys. Nice falling. Aaron, 77 half. 87 in a fill at six. Evan, it's a 62 half. 72 in a fill after six. 294 to 253, the lead now for Prices Wood Flooring. Timmy Matero coming up for Penny Lane on the on lane 22. Opposing Nate Lees on 21. Tim with a nine pin drop. Leaves himself just a seven. A bunch of wood out in front. That piece way out front could be a problem. Nate, too full. There's an eagle. Minus the three pin on the right. Piece of wood out in front to Nate, and one between the four and the seven pin. Tim catches that piece of wood just right and takes out the seven pin. Great spare for Timmy Matero. He plays the left side. Almost kicks it over. Leaves just the six and ten. And he gets it without a problem for a ten box. So Nate with a 46 half. Timmy Matero. 48 plus a ball. Timmy on the head pin a little to the left. Tough break. Four, five, seven, ten. The six fill and a 54 half for Timmy. Take off the head pin to the right, but gets. A little bit of late action to trip the head pin, leaves himself just the 6 and 10. Some wood out in front that could be problematic. Sean Baker trying to give Nate an idea on how to hit it. Timmy with that tough split. 
Takes out two. It's the four and seven. Nate plays the wood and he gets it to fall. I don't know if he planned on playing it in that spot. I at the same time. I don't know if he planned on playing it in that spot, but it went. That's all that matters. I wasn't gonna play that one. Nate's gonna be 56 and a fill. Timmy with a nine, a 63 after six. 314 to 278 right now. Prices with four and leaves. Chris Bovale on a fill. As of right now, when prices comes up, they're gonna have three spares to fill. To one as of right now for Penny Lane. Jimbo off to the right. Four horsemen left plus the eight pin. Chris Bovere on his fill. Little light on the head pin. Leaves himself the triangle to the far left. Made up, the, uh, made up of the four, seven, and eight. So wood out in front. Jimbo now off to the left. Loosely one and two pin. Chris Bovea plays the right side. Kicks it over. Great spare on that triangle. Chris at 57 and a ball and his half. Jimbo with a tough eight there. Right, Chris, come on, now drop a dime on it. Jimbo's going to come out, it seems. Mike McGinty stepping in here for the six blocks. Mike McGinty on the head pin. Leaves the four and seven pin. Chris Bovere, spread eagle with the nine pin talon. Tough three fill on that. McGinty with the fill, with the spare I mean, taking out the four and seven. Coming in for Jimbo Ayotte. Chris Bovere takes out the four and seven, leaves himself two, three, six, nine, and ten. Gets himself a nine, almost had the ten. So after six, it's four, it's three forty-three to two ninety-six in favor of Price's Wood Flooring. And here's Paul Grant. Thank you, Dan. Great job. Penny Lane, the defending champions of the Mixed World Championship from last year, trying to win again this year, undefeated through seventeen games out of twenty-one. Lost last match, a classic one to Coke Cola by nine pins. Catch you later on at Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube. Subscribe for free while you're there. And they're down now here to Pricewood Flooring. Mary Bonsi on a spare two, 77 through six, or a great string. Sonia Rossi, 53 through six, open. While you were away, Paul, we had uh, substitutions. Maddie Kelly's in for Mario now, and Mike McGinty came in for Jimbo Aon. Okay, thank you. So the names will be wrong on the score. The score on your screen is from the initial. Right. It does not show the substitute, so keep that in mind, viewers. That was probably last year at the U.S. Invitation. I didn't know anybody had just showed oh, up God. and yeah. I, I got the ball's the wrong name. <laughs> you showed up and had a great call for your first time. But the calls are great, but the names are wrong. The names would, I, I just joked, the names would change to protect the innocent. <laughs> hey, Jesus called Simon Paul and, you know, he just... Simon, pa P uh, Peter, and you know Saul, Paul. So I'm a good company. I get the patent on that one too. On my state candy bars. Okay, let's check out the action here. All right, so give an update what's going on here so far. First six boxes. First six boxes. Lots of marks here for uh, prices. Wood flooring. Penny Lane seemed to be coming along here. Um, it was really tough. Jimbo had a uh, tough go of it, realized it. Now Mike McGinty stepped in. Um, Mario seemed to be pulling a little bit. And
Matty Kelly stepped in here. So it looks like it's two marks apiece for each side. Oh, what a shot! Incredible shot by Mary. Another spare, 97 the ball through eight. Coming up big here in Haverhill, Academy Lanes. Check out the brand new restaurant here, Route 125, Main Street, Haverhill, Academy Lanes. Open up Friday. Spacious looking place. Beautiful. Mixed drinks, beer, soda, all kinds of food. Pizza, good pizza too. Check out Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Mass. I was going to say, uh, tell them about, tell them about uh, Spread Eagle Productions told you to come and get a discount, but... I didn't run up by Ted or Josh, so I get killed for that. <laughs> Introductory offer. Let me chase it, Bob down. <laughs> Paul? <laughs> what did you say? What did you say this time? Uh, getting silly. I'm on fumes here today. That's all right. We'll get some sleep tonight. Two, eight, two ACST playoffs next two nights, too. Danny Finn and Jordan Britton tomorrow night, 7 o'clock at Le and uh, Norris and Ryan Families. Tim Pelletier, spare. 66 in the ball through seven. Maddie Kelly from Mario Johnson has a 7 9. Combination 53 through six. Kim Pelletier working a spare. 66 in the ball. Maddie with that 9, 62 through 7. Host, 5 fill, 71 through 7. Kim Pelletier, world record ladies team triple, won the mixed teams title in 2016 and two time ladies international championship also. Maddie Kelly got three there. Kim Pelletier, nice try, leads up the two and the seven. Maddie for the spare. Has the four left side, three to the right. Gets a ten, good pinning. 81 through eight, Maddie Kelly a nine. Combination Mario Johnson, Maddie Kelly. 71 through eight. Aaron St. Cyr for Pricewood Flooring. Having a monster string. 87 the ball through six. Had two spares to start. Three in a row now. On lane 22 on the bonus. Looks good. Nine. Single pins go about 72% for Pro Bowls Up Wood. Stats provided by Spread Eagle Productions. 96 through six. Evan River to spare. 72 in the ball. Seven. 79 through 6. The 3, the 5, and the 10. St. Sam missed it. Sometimes you're rolling that good. You don't, you don't, you don't miss anything, it seems like. But that one you didn't get. You get the adrenaline flow and you That's get a good game going like that. Aaron, 9. 105 through 7. He's had some huge strings this year. 149s, 150s, come up big. Also, the Friday Night Pro League for Sunnyside 2. Evan River in 8. That spare 7 field game, 79 through 6, now 87 through 7. Right now, it's 408. Is that right? 408 to 346? It is wow, right. incredible. It is right. And, uh, our other two matches we've been watching fall. Harry's All Stars right now up 411 to 396 on D Generation X. They're in the thick of the top five. And Coca Cola 
Looks like they're pulling away a little bit. Looks like they're up by 20 a few lanes And they over. were two points, two wins behind, and they yeah. beat them by nine last match. And all of a sudden, Penny Lynn are defeated. Defending champs are on the ropes here also. They are very much on the ropes. We set up broadcast. They look unstoppable. I, like a freight train. With Penny Lynn, anything can happen. This team can turn on like a, like a warehouse full of fireworks at any point. Aaron Saints here, the head pin left up. Evan Marbury, the Susie special with a piece of wood, the 5 7 10, and nothing doing. What's the best shot you ever made? Difficult shot you've ever made? I'd say for me, there isn't one. <laughs> 7 9, no wood. Wow. I made some good, I make the hardest shots and the easiest shots. <laughs> Aaron St. Cyr. A 10, 115 through 8. Evan River, 8, 95 through 8. Tim Batero on the left for Penny Lane, 63 through 6. Nate Lee's a spare, 56 and the ball through 6. Paul Grant, Bob Lee, along with Dan Esdale. Dan, great work with you again. Oh, it's great to be working with you, Paul. I always appreciate I appreciated what you, Bob, Greg have all done to help cover all these tournaments and everything through the years, through the last year especially. It's, it's been, been a lot. It's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. I agree with Bob. We got to find somebody to get you some gas money and whatnot. You're driving all over the state, up to Maine, everything. We got we got to find somebody to sponsor you. <laughs> That'd be great. Four Phil for Nate Lee's. 60 through 6. Tim has the 4 and the 8. Two pieces of wood. Please try to bounce back. Good try. Half was to left. The 2 8 and the 4 to the left. One piece of wood. Terrible spare. Yes. He thought he threw it away. He got a break. Not the way he drew it up. He ripped the hair out of his head on that one. <laughs> I'm not too far behind. <laughs> 73 to ball. I think that's why most male bowlers don't have much air. We pull it out or it just falls out over the stress of doing yeah. it. Like I said in the podcast, I have my father's traits. Nate Lee's host. Tim Matero on a spare. Needs a big fill here. Right in the pocket. Eight has the three and the six, 51% chance to convert. 81 through seven for the future Hall of Fame. And eight leads, just missed the head pin inside. The one, the six to the right, seven to the left, one piece of wood. Matero for another one. Oh! You know, it's hard to believe that he goes 51% for Pro Bowlers. It looks so easy. Well, when you remember that the pins are about a foot apart no matter where they are, if you hit it just. Too, just a hair too full or just a hair too light, they'll cut in front of it and go right by it. Mm -hmm. Nate Lees, an 8, 77 through 8. Tim Matero, a tough 9, 90 through 8. All of a sudden, Penny Lane could be losing two in a row. You have strong finish. 439 to 391. That's a 48 pin lead with 12 boxes to go from Haverhill, Mass, Academy Lanes. McGinty's on a fill here. Mixed World Championships. Two more to go after this. Bovere. One, two, seven. Ayotte on the spare. Goes right. McGinty, rather. Says Jim on the screen. Is Mike McGinty filling in? It's hard to see the balls from our vantage point sometimes. They're blocked. So I look at the scoreboard. Four ones put wood to hell. Five in the fill. Seventy-four through six. Correction. Sixty through six. Bovier's open. McGinty just missed that pin. They're in trouble here. They're in a lot of trouble After here. going seventeen and zero, they could be going two, zero and two, and that could force potential one-string roll-off if the teams tie at the end. What would be interesting with three teams tie would be how they would do that. Uncharted territory here at the Mixed Worlds. A out of 10, 70 through 7. 
Chris Bovier, a nine, 78 through seven. Chris Bovier, just off to the right, forced and left the one, two, four, and seven. McGinty, almost a strike, leads it to six. Combination of Jimbo Ayotte, Mike McGinty, Penny Lane. Bovier for spare, got it! 80 the ball through eight. Well, thank you. Switching out. McKinty gets it. 88 in the ball. Ten boxes to go. Final two boxes for each bowler. The Mixed World Championships. Penny Lane undefeated. Lost last match. Need a lot of work here. 458 to 406. 52 pin lead for Pricewood Flooring. Making things interesting here. Absolutely. Coca Cola in the lead right now. 512 to 492. They're working on a bunch of marks. We think Coca Cola is going to pull their match out. Mary Bonds here. Strike. She's been spectacular. The string. Wow. My wild voice is, uh, is gone today. A lot of great shots. A lot of screaming wild this weekend for you. 117 plus 2 through 9. And she doesn't even know her average. We, we don't know what her average is. I think she said she believes 680 is her high five, though. Sonia for spare. Good try. Penny Lane, a runaway freight train. The brakes have come to a halt. And they are stacked. A lot of teams have, all the teams are great talent. A lot of stacked teams here this year for sure. And sometimes the best team doesn't always win. No. It's a, it's a, it's a rhythm thing and you, know, you get lucky obviously. You gotta have some luck. Sometimes who your teammates are, how they pick you up, how they pick on you sometimes just to push your buttons properly. The match, our first match today, Scott Swiss from 1710 Hurricanes. Unthinkable, 169 in the first string. Yep. Sonia to nine in the last box, 79 through nine. Mary I'll pull another one off. A nine in the strike, Phil. 126 through nine. Sonia a six, 85 string. Mary a 10. How about a 136 for Mary Bonsi for Price with Flooring? What a performance, 136. Who is this one, huh? I've, it's incredible. First time covering her. A couple times earlier, too, this weekend. Patty Kelly, 2 1 split. So Penny Lane is, is going to drop the second straight after winning 17 straight. Two matches to go. All live broadcast, separate broadcast. We'll sign off after this, get ready for our next match. And Bob Lee, our Roven reporter, will tell us where to go next. Not where to go in the bad way, hopefully. Right. <laughs> Been told that many times. It's been a long weekend. Yes. Getting silly here. Let me get four hours sleep tonight. Two ACST matches next two nights. How about Steve Reno Jr., number six seed against number one seed Justin Waters. Uh, Seven o'clock Millis. Live on Facebook page. Candle for chat, rolling their network. Tomorrow night, D Danny Finn and Jordan Britton tomorrow night. Yeah, Fernando Gachana to beat Rob Brown. Oh, wow. Low scoring affair by eight pins. Rob led by 12 on the last string. I told Rob, I'll tell Rob because you never do the broadcast. That's why. <laughs> Just kidding. Winding down here. Maddie Kelly, 9, 80 through 9. 10 for Kim Pelletier, 91 through 9. Some unthinkable stories today. The 117 Hurricanes beat Harry's All Stars, putting a blow to their chance to be number one. And Harry seems to be getting themselves on yeah, a roll here as a yeah, late though. Yeah. Do you 
Do you get complacent sometimes? When you're bowling good, can you get overconfident yourself when you bowl? Absolutely not, because anything could change at the drop of a hat. Yeah. You watch any of the greats, it can happen to anybody. you got to do your best. Remember to keep how you're throwing it, where your feet are. Make sure you don't get overexcited and get what I call happy feet. Maddie Kelly got a spare while we are talking. 90 in the ball from the 10th. Kim Pelletier, 9, even 100 string. Maddie, one of the best female bowls of the game today. Six in the fill. Combination of Mario Johnson and Maddie Kelly, 96. Sometimes fatigue gets, plays in the factor here, too. It's been a long weekend. A lot of games been thrown by everybody here. 22 teams, 21 matches, three days. Five on Friday, 10 yesterday. Fourth one at six today. Christwood flooring knocks off Penny Lane. His second straight loss. And now it's going to be an interesting story. Last two matches. If you're in the Haverhill area, stop by Haverhill Academy Lanes. Check out the new restaurant and bar. And come by and watch some great ball in the last two matches. It's great to see um, Brian Fuller Jr. here today with his one-year-old son at a birthday yesterday yep. or this past week. Brian, you know the difficult ear infection. Hopefully it goes well for you, Brian. Through a 187 here on a, almost a four-bagger. Huge at Speed League here at Academy Lanes. Yes, the house record at Lafayette Lanes, 224. Keith Bopre broke the Riverwalk house record, which is the old Laf new Lafayette Lanes. 194 last week. So those two have to have, to have, to have, to have a showdown, a money match. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what, that, that would be fair. That would be a great match to watch. Yeah, it would be. That would be must-see TV. And Keith right now is red hot. All right, back to our final four boxes here. After these two balls are done. Aaron at 10, 125 through nine, missed the spare. Evan River, nine eight. Before that, 104, now another nine, 113 string. Aaron St. Cyr at 10, 135 for the 24 year older from Haverhill, Mass. Aaron St. Cyr. Price with flooring. Not an upset, really, but a mini, you could call it a mini upset. Mini upset, I would say, because of how well Penny Lane had been doing. But two incredibly stacked teams there. 17-0, now 0-2 since then. And a fantastic finish. It's going to be here at Academy Lanes. The Mixed World's Championship. Tim Matero, 90-8. Nate Lee, 77 from 8 on the left. Material with the check mark. So I didn't know you. I know your dad. Coca Cola has won their match. We, are ha we have a tie for first now between Penny Lane and Coca Cola. And nobody else has two losses, right? Oh, yeah, my son. Harry says three, I think. Or three. I believe there were three. You can check with that, Dan, if you can. Both poles open here. Tiro at 9, 99 through 9. They at least part of the 2021 championship team, U.S. Invitation last year. Lori Lewis as well. Nine for Nate Lee's at last box, 96 through nine. Harry has three losses. That loss to 117 Hurricane, first match to blow to them. I mean, it's Scott Sirois. Could be. Almost single handedly beat them. Thrilling match. That was match number 16 if you keep the score at home. Nate Lee, what a spare. I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it. That was blocked by the bowlers. Oh, I couldn't see the shot. What was it? I believe it was the 410. Matero, 10, 10 box, 109. Congratulates State Lees. Great sportsmanship as always in Kenneth and Bowling. 
NHL football to be fighting at the end of the game. NBA sometimes. Uh, NHL has the hand line. They, 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 they have yeah, the hand line. Yeah. They clear the benches because yeah. they lose. It's frustrating when you lose, obviously. Uh, obviously. You want to have class and bounce back for the next one. Nate leads six on the spare. 102 for the president here for this match here in Haverhill. He'll be help, helping me out with the Nat Nichols for the women's double event. Lead Lanes National Anchor Lady Bowlers. We need six more teams. 10 a.m. shift Saturday, September 10th. 220 average cap. As of May 1st, 2022, the women's money match. September 10th, Extra Lanes, Extra New Hampshire. Seven fill for Mike McGinty, 80 through 8. Chris Bovera to spare, 88 in the ball here on lane 21. Seven. McGinty's open. Bovea, 95 through 8. The Bulls know each other here. They all respect each other. So, obviously you want to win, but they don't. Oh, what a try. We'll go. Weebles wobble. But they don't fall down. A lot of kids nowadays. What's a weeble? <laughs> McGinty is 7, 94 through 9. 10 for Ayotte, 105 through 9. Literally playing up the string here now. Two more matches to go after this. Bob Lee, an update. Here's your chicken sandwich, Paul. Uh, we just had a, a barn burner over there, high-low dispensary won their second game. In, on the oh, they won two today. Lanes over there. Awesome. Um, they beat Academy Lanes. And uh, other than that, I, I have not been... Penny Lane has dropped two in a row. Amazing. And... Full close yeah. winning. One. Yep. And Harry's also upset today by 117 Hurricanes playing spoiler. They only oh, have three losses. Box, so they're, they're winning now. They got that in hand. So final box of the match. We're going to sign off after this. We'll come back for two more. Bob, where are we going next? Um, that's going to be up to our producer. For the remote. Oh, <laughs> Is he the Coca-Cola or, or uh, Penny Lanes? Depends on who's bowling who. <laughs> Coca-Cola is scheduled to go on our TV lane. One of the matches today. Finish up our string here. Bovera spare. Icing on the cake. 115 the ball on the 10th. McGinty a 10, 104. Last two strings, low scoring. 529 the last match, just 507. It's got to be fatigue. And that's why sometimes it's seven, some eight bowlers. It's a little more depth in the bench. But Coca-Cola went over 600 in their last match. Bovera 7, 122 for the ankle bowler. Chris Bovera, the final score. Dan Estelle with the final score. 595 for prices to 507 for Penny Lane. The defending champs from last year, the Mixed World, Champ Mixed World Championship at Haverhill Mass, Academy Lanes. Penny Lane has dropped two in a row after going 17-0. And they have a tie now with Coca-Cola for first. And should they tie after 21 matches, two more to go after this. A one-string roll-off. Stay tuned. We'll be back in a few minutes. For Bob Lee, Dan Esdale, Paul Grant, saying so long for now. Thank you for watching.